Welcome viewers, this is yet another episode of the Hot Seat uh, proudly brought to you by MNL and partnered by Gemcon. Uh, and today I'm joined by a special guest, Benedict Mafunga, uh, the owner of Bindura Volleyball, Volleyball Club. Uh, my name is Thomas Manguiro and uh, today I've spared uh, Benedict from the Hot Seat and will do it uh, standing here at the University of Zimbabwe. Welcome to the show, uh, Benny. Thank you so much, Mr. Mangbiro. Yes, uh, you are doing a very good job uh, in Bindura, having a club which is always traveling to Harare. Uh, can you tell us, uh, in a short version, what is uh, the objectives of Bindura and who is Bindura, Bindura Volleyball Club? Uh, Bindura Volleyball Club, um, we started it uh, uh, together with Mr. Nzungu, well known as Nzungu, uh, pardon Charlie. Uh, Madongi uh, in volleyball circles. Uh, the main thrust was to get uh, talent, volleyball talent from my central and uh, competing in a much more competitive league, which is Harare League. Uh, so we started as a, uh, as a small community, uh, as a small team, but right now we are trying to compete on different platforms. Like recently, we were. Uh, forced to join at the MNL last minute and it, 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 it was great for us yeah yeah volleyball is uh, seen a lot of players are coming from much central and uh, where are you going with this project yeah uh, mr. Manguero you, you can see each and every team uh, which is uh, in Harare League they've got one or two players with a national and central background so we have seen that uh, as a province, we can have a team, uh, one of the best teams which can compete uh, at the highest level, that is uh, uh, Zimbabwe Premier League. So by so doing, when we, 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 we started this project, my main thrust is to have one of the best teams in the league. Yes. So we, 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 we are taking this team, uh, we are starting as a small team, but I am pretty sure in the next coming two or three years, I will be a first to reckon. Yeah, we have seen a lot of uh, young players emerging from uh, Bindula, Bindura uh, BVC, uh, Bindura Volleyball Club. And you have also uh, recruited one of the best coaches in Zimbabwe, that is uh, Nyasha Zashe Takawira. Uh, why Nyasha Zashe Takawira? <laughs> As you've said, he has got the best brains. And I can tell you, Nyasha Zashitagawira uh, is one of the best coaches I can tell uh, who is, uh, is available uh, in, in Zimbabwe. Um, he has got all that expertise because he played volleyball uh, in under-20 uh, national team. Uh, and also, he played volleyball at the highest level. That is yes. the senior team. And he was also part and parcel of uh, uh, the beach team, yes. Zim beach team at national level. So uh, personally, I'm sure Nyasha Zashi is the, the best candidate uh, for us to, to take us to, why, to where we, we want to be in the next coming two or three years. Uh, you said you formed the club together with uh, Nzungu, that is Brighton. And uh, do you think, uh, or rather, uh, would we think that Nzungu was an influence for you to bring Nyashadzashe Takaura? We know they have been playing together for a very long time, especially in beach volleyball and also the national team. Uh, uh, <coughs> Nzungu was the brain behind uh, BVC. Uh, and uh, as, as you have said, um, Nzungu played to, uh, together with Nyashadzashe at it, 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 it beach uh, in different countries and when I approached uh, Nzungu I said Nzungu come on look at it right now we don't have a coach what are we supposed to do we have lost uh, one of our players who was Seta Tunaba and uh, we, are, we would want to, uh, to, 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 to withdraw uh, Madongi from technical team and uh, be the Seta who is the best candidate in the market to, yes. to, 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 to lead us and he said please go for us Nas. 
And yes, you settled for Rasnas to be the coach of uh, BVC. Uh, well, viewers, this is Benedict Mafunga, uh, the BVC uh, chairperson, uh, talking to us about Bindura Volleyball Club. We are going away for a few seconds. Uh, let's meet in the second segment. <laughs> Uh, welcome back viewers this is your host thomas manguiro uh, in the mnl program the what seat uh, partnered by gemcon and today i'm talking to benedict mafunga the uh, owner of uh, bvc and uh, we're talking about bindura volleyball club and uh, benedict uh, the rationale to come to harare does it have anything to do with the problems in mashona land central uh, apart from all the politics uh, which is happening in my central, uh, there is no coming to, to, to Zim, uh, as I said earlier on, Mr. Manguiro. Uh, I wanted to identify the best talent from my central, meaning to say different clubs have got different players. So my, my, my wish was to give the best players from different clubs coming uh, here to our rally league and compete uh, with the best. Meaning to say, uh, I wanted to put all those players into, into the best platform, the best ever volleyball platform, that is the, the, the rally league. If you've seen that a uh, rally league constitutes about 80% or 8 or 90% of state PVL. Yes. So meaning to say, the only competitive league which is there, which is there, is the Harare league. So has it paid dividends coming here to Harare to play in the Harare Premier League? Yeah, it's paying dividends. Uh, but as I said, on it's a process. It's an ongoing process. Uh, we are yet to, 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 to see the dividends because uh, uh, the main thing is at the end of the day, once we, we, we compete into top four, top six of Harare League, uh, top six or top eight of National League, then would say that uh, we will now say eh, there's dividends there. We have achieved uh, the objectives of, of BVC. Uh, are there any plans of uh, establishing a women's team? For now, we, 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 we didn't have any plans. But um, we will help those teams for specific tournaments. Like recently, there's a uh, uh, Pink October tournament. Yes. It's, it's BVC uh, we thought it's also wise for us to, to, to help those ladies to go and, uh, and play for that tournament. And actually, we are sending a team, a much central team, to, to, to a Pink October tournament. Yes. But uh, maybe we will go back and uh, sit down with the stakeholders, with the patrons, uh, with uh, some of the uh, stakeholders of, of BVC. Then we will say, can we establish an, a ladies team? If they say yes, uh, who am I to say no? Who and you? Uh, you are satisfied with the competition in the country. What about the sponsorship? Uh, we have seen a lot of times teams playing for nothing and you have got a team coming all the way from Bindura uh, playing in Harare and also going all over the country playing in the ZPVL. But no prizes. What is your comment on that? Um... We just have to change the mentality of people and the mentality of the leaders and, and, and we are supposed to, to bring in a lot of investors, uh, a lot of uh, sponsors into this uh, competition. Actually, I was talking to, uh, to with uh, certain guys today. We have got uh, SPVL, which is uh, uh, constitutes about four, five, six, seven banks. And why can't you just say each and every bank, please, just contribute our... A thousand, thousand, thousand. That's the best way of getting sponsorship. Rather than expecting uh, a sing, uh, one sing organization to sponsor, uh, to sponsor a tournament or to sponsor a league, it's, it's, it will be very difficult. Um, I'm happy with the way the HVA is taking us uh, in terms of volleyball. Uh, I've seen a, a number of uh, corporates coming. Uh, engage, uh, they're engaging a number of corporates and I've seen that this is also coming and but then they put the volleyball uh, uh, on map by so doing some or some way I'm pretty sure in the next coming year or two years uh, 
we have sponsorship. Remember, we are coming from an era of COVID. Yes. So, uh, and starting, we are starting afresh from, from, from zero. And we saw what Jamcon, as you said, Jamcon is, Jamcon, MNL, those guys, they are trying by all means to, 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 to sponsor this volleyball, to put this volleyball on map. And uh, personally, I appreciate their effort. Then ZPV uh, should do something in terms of uh, their marketing strategies. They should come up with a number of organizations who are willing to partner with them. Yes, so yes. if they don't advertise volleyball, there's no way an individual walking in the streets can, see, uh, can tell there's volleyball which is in play there. Yes, so yes. to me, they still have to have a marketing personnel. It's very eager to work with uh, with with, 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 uh, with people. Yes, yes. Mm. Uh, well, viewers, this is Benedict Mafunga talking to us about volleyball and BVC. Uh, we'll go away for a few seconds and we'll come back in the final and uh, last, uh, rather last segment of the program. Well, this is the final uh, segment of this episode of the MNL Hot Seat, uh, proudly sponsored by Jem Corn. And my name is Thomas Manguero. And today I'm talking to Benny, Benny Mafunga, the owner and a benefactor of BVC. Uh, Benny, uh, we saw Bindura hosting the last edition uh, of the Zimbabwe Premier Volleyball League. Uh, there were success stories there. Uh, can you tell us more about the hosting uh, and the experiences uh, you encountered in hosting the ZPVL uh, for the first time in the history of volleyball? Uh, thank you. Uh, I would want to thank uh, the organizers of ZPVL, uh, specifically uh, Chebin Mzondo, uh, who gave us the, the first ever opportunity uh, to host the tournament. Um, for us, uh, starters of hosting, yes. to us it was a success. Um, we had uh, limited time to prepare, uh, of uh, preparing course and everything. And I think um, that was a nice experience. That was a nice experience, Mr. Mangiro, uh, uh having 10, 14 teams at your yard, at your courts, and um, the best referees, uh, you've got the best referees ever, of course, and the atmosphere was so electrical and, and it, it, it was nice. Actually, we were here as BVC. Um, to us, it was a success uh, tournament, a success event, uh, though we had our own challenges, which are uh, which we face, like um, uh, the courts, uh, you know, people were saying uh, the court uh, did not meet uh, the expected standard. Yes. So we are going to work on those courts, and I'm pretty sure we have got other partners who are willing to help to renovate other two courts. Uh, two courts. So by next time, we are pretty sure that we have learned from our mistakes. We have learned from our mistakes. We have learned from um, from that, and when you come next time, I'm pretty sure all those four courts will be super perfect. Will be super perfect, I'm sure. Uh, and from the successes of uh, hosting the ZPVL, there has been reports of uh, problems in Mashonal and uh, Central Volleyball Association, where the Congress was adjourned twice, and uh, now there is nothing to show is, is ever going to happen uh, this year. Uh, do you have any comment about the problems in uh, March Central? <laughs> I might comment at length. Uh, it's a political, it's, 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 it's volleyball political issues and uh, I'm kindly involved so I can't comment so much in, in terms of, uh, of that. Uh, of problems uh, emanating from the association uh, cause a number of people they are begging me to be the chairperson for, 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 for my central so to comment uh, I'll be throwing mud at other people's faces uh, 
this one. Uh, but do you, what, what do you think should be done uh, to return to normalcy in your province? To normalcy, returning to normalcy is uh, giving uh, back the, 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 the association to the people of my central. Um, people of my central should have their voice. They should be heard. People of my central should be enabled to choose their leaders. People of my central volleyball community, they know what they want. Yes. No one should come and dictate pace for them. The only challenge which, is, uh, which I have seen personally is people are coming and dictating pace of, of, to, to, to my central people. And then there's loggerheads with uh, a number of people who are much interested into, 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 into December Congress. So allow my central people to lead my central volleyball. Are you working well with the chairperson who is uh, currently in office? We've been working uh, well for the past two, three years. Uh, I have no problem with her. Uh, she's my friend. We talk a number of issues. We've discussed a lot of issues. And we have discussed how we are supposed to run my central volleyball. Yes. Mm. We have uh, talked a lot uh, about that. And I think she's, she's aware of everything. She's aware of what she's supposed to do. So who is the problem in March Center? Uh, the problem is coming from, from, from top. ZVA to be specific. Yeah, ZVA is, 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 is coming the problem. Uh, and actually it's, it's, it's influencing an election which is supposed to be done. So by so doing, uh, we are always at loggerheads with the, with the, the stakeholders. We, did, or we, we, we have done about two or three stakeholders meetings and nothing concrete came out of that. We have tried uh, to have a Congress and twice it had been adjourned. In the presence of ZVA, in the presence of Mr. Cont, to be specific. Yes. Yeah, he was there, we adjourned everything and nothing's materializing and nothing about volleyball is being done by ZVA in my central. Uh, as you heard, the man doesn't want to talk more about this issue, so we will try to get in touch with the ZVA authorities to talk more about the issues uh, in Shonaland Central. As you know that the uh, Congress for the province was adjourned twice, and now there is no end inside uh, for the problems uh, in uh, Marshall and Central. And Benny, I would like to thank you for coming uh, to this show. Any last words? Uh, I'd like to thank you. I'd like to uh, thank the sponsors of this program, uh, specifically uh, uh, Gemcon, as you have said. Um, thank you, please. Let's keep the ball flying. Thank you. Uh, that was Benedict Mafunga, the BVC uh, owner, talking to us about volleyball, about issues in March Central. And uh, my name is Thomas Manguiro. Uh, let's meet again in the next episode. Thank <laughs> you.